Hey, KB here, and it is time for Who, How, When for UFC 262. I need to know who's going to win, how they're going to do it, and when they're going to get it done. And I want to know your thoughts on the main event and the co-main event. So let's start with the co-main event because if you saw the uh, post-fight, I mean, pre-fight press conference, it was absolutely wild between Benil and Tony Ferguson. So uh, I, I have to say on this one, I am such a huge fan of both of these fighters, and I really kind of hate that they're fighting each other. You know, it's like awesome and awful at the same time. Um, been a just, ugh. they're both so great. Um, and just very different. By the way, I have a nice uh, interview with Benil, uh, so you should check that out. It's on my channel here, and also I have a No Wrong Answers with Benny coming out as well. Uh, and I put some throwback stuff out with Tony and Benny earlier, which is fun. You should check that out. But anyway, so when we look at the co-main event, so Benil's record is 24-1. and one. Uh, Tony's record is 25 and 5. So um, Benil is currently right now on a six win streak, and those wins include um, uh, uh, Scott Holtzman, and remember that walk off knockout of Dracar Close. Uh, he's beating Camacho. Uh, the, the last one was uh, Diego Ferreira. So Benny is definitely on a tear. And for Tony, Yes, he's dropped his last couple fights, and they were to uh, Charles Oliveira, who's fighting for the title, and to Justin Gaethje. But before that, Tony was on a 12-win streak, which is absolutely insane. And when you think of the people that Tony has beaten, uh, include Cerrone and Pettis and RDA, Kevin Lee, Barboza, like all kinds of stuff. So, you know, unfortunately, people are judged by their last couple fights or whatever, but let's not forget how good Tony is. But that said, you know, Benny is on a tear, and he is so dialed into his whole fight game and his mentality and everything right now. So when I spoke to him the other day, he really does sound like an unbeatable guy. Going to be an amazing fight. I need you to tell me who's going to win, how they're going to do it, and when they're going to get it done. It's who, how, when. It's pretty basic. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the main event. Like we said, uh, it's for the vacant lightweight title. And we have Charles Oliveira going up against Michael Chandler. Charles Oliveira, 38 and uh, won no contest. And uh, he is currently on an eight-win streak. Michael Chandler, 22 and 5. And he is on a three-win streak. Some of those wins were in Bellator. He beat uh, Benson Henderson and um, Outlaw. And then he came over to the UFC and beat Hooker. And that was a really great debut for him. But uh, in terms of Charles, you know, his win streak does include Tony Ferguson and Kevin Lee. The Kevin Lee was the fight that I worked. It was the last one I worked down in Brazil, uh, the Brazilian show before the whole world went crazy with COVID, right? So I was there when DeBronx won that fight. I have been a fan of him for so long, too. This is the KB fandom show. Uh, but I just think he's incredible. So 19 submissions. He is the record holder. Eight knockouts for Charles Oliveira. Michael Chandler, though, 10 knockouts and seven submissions. So, I mean, he, he does. He's, he's great. He's great. And, you know, they were both respectful at the press conference. But when you saw the stare down, Charles does have that height advantage. He's two inches taller. He's 5'10", where Michael is 5'8", I believe. So he will have that height advantage. And we know Charles is all rangy and lanky and all that and knows how to use all that for the submission. So um, it should be a great fight. I need to know who's going to win it, how they're going to do it, and when they're going to get it done, who, how, when for the main event, and uh, also for the co-main event between Tony Ferguson and Benil Dariush. Oh, my God. Listen, Tony has 12, 12 knockouts and eight submissions. Benny has five knockouts and eight submissions as well. So both of those fights are going to be great. Uh, after the facts, will come out after the event. So make sure you check that out. But again, I have a nice interview with Benil. And uh, so I want you to check that out. And on the What Had Happened was that I do with Angela Overkill Hill, we have some predictions for the main and co-main event as well. So hopefully you can check that out. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and enjoy the fights.